give yourself a real thrill. These mountains are just crazy looking. Yeah, you don't see mountains like this very often. I don't know but what it is about this that makes it so awe-inspiring, but I guess it's just the the magnitude, the depth, the color of the rock, how steep everything is, and that each mountain is different, all different colors. Beautiful up here. Entering Clayton, population seven. So a lot of people worry about, you know, if the DRZ can cruise at highway speeds. I'm currently doing 75, cruising easily, and I have the stock 15 tooth sprocket on the front, and I've dropped the rear sprocket by three teeth, so it's a 41 tooth sprocket. But yeah, this, this bike cruises easily at 75, 80. 75 and 80 is about as high as I would want the RPM for a long for a long time though. I would if you're gonna travel on highways mostly I would say you could go down to a 39 tooth rear sprocket and then you'd be good to go. I don't know how well you guys can hear me, but I'm experiencing quite a bit of wind noise so I can't hear myself. What a beautiful color here. It's unfortunate that there is uh, a bunch of smoke in the air, so it kind of puts a haze over everything, but I have a feeling that by the time I get to Yellowstone, it's gonna be cleared up. So I can see a lot more now than I could just, uh, you know, 50 miles ago. my left here. Look at that rock formation. How it's all wavy. It's like maybe, I don't know. I'm always interested in uh, rock formations. I wonder how a lot of them get created. It'd be really interesting to be there when that thing got formed. I wonder how far I'd have to go back in time to, to see that. Yeah, what is really stunning to me though is that all of these mountains are so contrasted. And there's just so many different types of rock and there's grass over some of it, sagebrush. And then there's trees and flowers. I mean, look ahead of me here, you have just a big old white mountain. Looks like white sand. Almost look like dunes out there, but clearly not. There are rocks jetting out of them. These trees are getting a little bit yellow. I don't like it. Well, I know you have a big old smudge, but I hit record anyway because I wanted to catch going into this canyon right here. Pretty sweet looking canyon.
the highest place in Idaho. The highest town in Idaho. I'm curious to see what my gas mileage was going into that headwind up the canyon there. We've gone over 100 miles. I've gone 106 miles on this tank so far. This is where I stayed right before that hike that I did on Mount Bora. We are now entering Arco, population of 995. See all that riding up on the rock there. I wonder what that is, different years? I'm still recovering from uh, pizza-induced coma. Those numbers up there are crazy if those are graduation years. Because there's a 24 up there. 1924 is hard to believe. I'm staying in Rexburg tonight. Hi. Hi, man. The hills have eyes. adjusted back on the road 45 miles or so until Rexburg I'm in Mud Lake population 358 what's going on guys we're on day number two and I've skipped a lot of uh, the day I've been riding for uh, right around 40 minutes now I, I would say but it kind of just goes from flat kind of rolling hill area just straight into beautiful wooded greenery it's it's just kind of a weird sensation right now as i get closer and closer to yellowstone i think we're gonna stop at island park and get some gasoline but um, i thought i would just start recording right now since it's just such a, a weird transition. I mean, it just, it's not very scenic behind me, but in front of me, it just got beautiful. Very abrupt transition. Right now, I think it is, I don't know what time it is, sometime in the morning, somewhere around 10 probably. But temperatures of risen a little bit so it's actually pretty comfortable at this point it's somewhere around 75 degrees all right currently I'm 18 miles outside of Island Park West Yellowstone 13 miles a little bit smoky that's one consistency throughout this whole trip This isn't too bad compared to where I came from in Idaho, but it's still pretty bad. It's like there are evenly placed fires throughout the whole western United States. At least there are no fires that I'm aware of inside Yellowstone National Park. I bet these cabins are really expensive. Thirty-five bucks for cars, thirty bucks for motorcycles, twenty bucks for uh, pedestrian. Hey. Hello, how are you? How are you? Good. This one motorcycle. Well, I'm in Yellowstone National Park, entering Wyoming. This is ridiculous. I'm going six miles per hour. Sometimes I'm completely stopped. This is one of those national parks that people just pour into. Yellowstone is really popular. Wouldn't be that bad if everybody would like, you know, drive. But I'm, I don't know what's causing this holdup, but I know that in the past, 
a lot of people will just pull over and start taking pictures of wild animals and they'll block traffic in doing so. I don't know if that's the case here, but it seems to be something like that. There's no reason we should be doing six miles per hour. It says 45. Hmm. bunch of elk in that grass over there. People are going pretty wild over it. A lot of people haven't seen elk before 